Hello and welcome back. In the previous session we in the previous session we draw some rectangles using the OpenCV library and in this session we will go ahead with circles. We will be drawing single circles, then uh, group of circles like concentric circles and random circles. And circles can be drawn using the function cv2.circle just like cv2.line and cv2.rectangle. We will be using a function called cv2.circle to generate a circle. And to draw a circle we require a center point and the radius and an optional parameter like thickness of the circle. So considering an example here it's exactly the same as the previous one. We are importing the numpy library then aliasing it as np. Then we are importing the OpenCV. Then we are creating a canvas of size 300 into 300 pixels width and height. We are declaring a color called blue which is B G R that is a blue is a first blue is a full and other two are empty so it's a blue color then we are going to draw the circle using the function cv2.circle and here is a first argument is the canvas that we have then the center point of the circle which is right now we have fixed it as 100 100 that is 100 from x and 100 from y and then we have 10 which is the radius of the circle and the color of the circle as blue and we are displaying the circle by displaying our canvas in the cv2 window and we will implement a weight key we already have few lines we can reuse till here copy then file new file Okay, define a color, draw a circle, canvas image, midpoint, then color, then thickness. So let's save this file as draw circles.py and we have the green color. Okay, no problem. Let's have it as green and now let's draw the circle. So cv2.circle and the first argument is the canvas then the second argument is the midpoint which is currently we define as 100 comma 100 and the third argument will be the radius which is 10 we have one more argument called radius and the fourth argument is the color let's have the color as green and now let's display the circle cv2.im show single circle comma canvas cv2 dot wait key make sure that you are typing the key the k of the key as uppercase because in python the functions are camel case that is if you if the function name with more than one word in the name here weight and key are two words so the first word will be starting with the lower case and the subsequent words will be starting with upper case so uh, make sure you follow that let's try to run this program control s for save and go to command prompt python 3 draw just press c and tab circles.py yes we have our little circle here small green circle so we have successfully executed our first program and the next one is a bit of challenging because we are going to draw concentric circles we will start from a single point in the middle and then we will increase the range that is a radius by 25 pixels so first will be 0 next will be 25 50 75 and it will go on so on and so forth until the radius is 175 so the maximum radius allowed is 175 and the radius will be incrementing in, in increments of 25 so this is a code we are going to use to calculate the center actually in the previous example we declared the center point as constant value 100 100 but here we are calculating 
based on the size of the canvas. Here I am getting a center X and center Y by dividing the width of the canvas. The canvas dot shape of 1 will give the width divided by 2 which will give the center point of the width. Maybe this is a width and it will give the center point and I am once again dividing canvas dot shape of 0 by 2 which will give the height center point. So, width center point, height center point both join together at this point to give the center point of the canvas. And I am defining a color just like we did in the blue or green. We are defining it as white. White means red, blue and green are full. So, everything is 255. Three colors are 255. And we are declaring a for loop. So, here the for loop is 4 R in range starting from 0, ending at 175, incrementing in values of 25. So, this for loop executes, the value will be incrementing from 25, 0, 25, 50, 75 like that until it reaches 175. And during that for loop, the circle will be drawn in the canvas. Just like by using the function that we did just like before. Circle, canvas, then the center point, then radius. So, the radius will be changing every time the loop executes. And just like I said before, Python will not be using any kind of this kind of brackets and also we will have to use indentation. The statement that should be present inside the for loop should be indented a single tab or maybe four spaces. I recommend using spaces, but please do not mix space and tab inside the same program. If you are using four spaces for indentation, then use four spaces. And if you are using tab, use tab, do not use space for indentation. So, this is the first indent inside the for loop. And if you have another loop inside the for loop, then another four spaces should be kept for indentation. And that's all. This is the only line that is inside the for loop. Then we unindent back to the main level. You can see this is the level. We are showing the image. All the circle has been drawn to the image and finally we are showing the image and the weight key value. Let's go ahead and code this also. So, this is a line and we are starting the code. We can reuse this much of a line. Okay, let's copy and paste. We can make it as white. Then 255, 255, 255. Draw concentric white circles. And here we are defining the for loop. For R in range. This is the syntax for for loop in Python. The initial value the maximum value and the increments. And we are intending the code that we need to work inside the for loop with four spaces. One, two, three and four. And now we are writing like cv2 dot circle. The first argument is the canvas. Second argument is the center x and y. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, we forgot to declare the center for our canvas. Center x comma center y. So, we are calculating the center of the canvas x and y equal to canvas dot shape of 1 which gives us the width divided by it's a 2 front slash which denotes divided by in python comma canvas dot shape of 0 which gives us the height divided by 2 and here we have the center x and y. Now we can pass this center x and y into our circle function. Center x comma center y. And the next argument will be the radius r which will be incrementing using this for loop. And the color just give a space. Not required anyways but this will be looking good. White color. Okay, so after executing this for loop, all the circles will be drawn to the canvas. The only job remains is to show the canvas in the window. So we are showing it like cv2.img show. Have the date last concentric circles and we are showing the canvas. Let's now run this function and check if it's working fine. We will include few more comments here. Calculate the center point of canvas generate so 
Curls using for loop. Okay, now let's run it once again. We have an error invalid syntax for our oh, oh, I'm sorry, actually missed a colon here. In for loop, we need to have a colon here. So make sure you put that. Okay, now let's run it once again. Yes, we have our single circle. Click inside the window and press any key. And now we have our concentric circles. So inside our concentric circles, we already have the single circle drawn. So in on top of that was the concentric circles drawn. Just click on it and press enter. Let's do one thing. Let's clear the canvas before we proceed with the next one. We are clearing and resetting the canvas once again. Clearing the canvas. And now run it once again. We have the single circle. We have the concentric circles. So this concentric circle was drawn on top of a cleared canvas. Right? The uh, previous graphics were erased before we draw the concentric circles.